Well, we crossed to Mauritius now, where Rajan Kumar Mahapatra, who's the CEO of Indian Oil Mauritius, is standing by to link up with us. Uh, good to have you on the program, Ranjan. Uh, it's interesting to see that you've, you've been in Mauritius for 13 years and you're now starting to expand quite aggressively. Is this in line with what's happening in the Mauritian economy? Uh, first of all, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me here. And uh, yes, uh, we have been here for quite some time. We have been here for 13 years now. Uh, it was the vision of the then heads of uh, Mauritius and India. That's how uh, this Indian oil company came into Mauritius. And uh, uh, we are doing a, quite a good job. And uh, uh, yes, in Mauritius, we are there in uh, downstream activities, currently downstream marketing activities. And uh, we are looking at the market. It is in sync with uh, whatever is happening in Mauritian market as well. Mm. When you say the downstream activities, is that uh, what we would know as, as uh, the, the floors, uh, the, the forecourts uh, of retail, um, re selling of, of, of petrol and, uh, and oil at the retail level? Yeah, this, this, this compi comprises of many things as well. Uh, this comprises of retailing, consumer business. We are very much into aviation business as well. Uh, we are also into marine business, which includes uh, bunkering of uh, uh, all the vessels which are coming into Mauritius. We, uh, we meet their requirement of uh, fuel as well as lubricants. Uh, in retailing business, yes, what you spoke of in retailing business, uh, we are there. Uh, we have almost 13% uh, physical presence in Mauritius right now. Uh, and uh, we have come up with a lot of initiatives to address to that as well. My question there uh, as is, far as is consumer, to, uh, Ryan, Ryan, sorry, my question there on I'm the sorry? retail business is, are you looking to expand into other African countries? Yeah, see, uh, Africa is definitely, uh, I mean, as, as uh, economists put it, Africa is the next big thing to happen. And uh, we are definitely looking at that opportunity. The parent company is there in upstream activities in quite a number of countries in Africa, but downstream, yes. In fact, we are also looking at the companies. The companies are also looking at the interest, with interest, uh, how we are performing here. Our success story is being looked at. And uh, definitely, we would not like to let this opportunity go. Tell us a little about the crude storage facility that you intend uh, putting together in Mauritius. 140 million tons. That sounds substantial. <laughs> right, first of all, I wanted to clarify one thing. It's not crude uh, tankage because uh, crude, when we are talking of, then you require a refinery here. So in this region, we do not have a refinery. So it's not crude storage. I wanted to clarify that first. And uh, yes. In line with the vision of uh, the government of Mauritius uh, for uh, this uh, making Mauritius a petroleum hub, we are definitely looking at this opportunity for having uh, product tankers of 140 TMT, yes, and which could uh, be a strategic tankage for Mauritius. We also can utilize that particular facilities for re-exporting the products to the nearby region where there is a requirement. Uh, but this is too early to comment. Uh, this is in a very latent stage. So I'll definitely come back when we, come, uh, we go forward in this direction. At the same breath, I must say that this region, depending on the requirement, also uh, is in need of a refinery. At least of 6 million metric ton refinery is required here. Well, I think that's why the speculation was that it was going to be a crude facility, so that it will tee you up for a refinery as the next step. But if it's only latent, I guess a refinery is going to take some time. Yeah, it will take some time, definitely. Refinery will take some time because setting up a refinery requires a lot of, uh, uh, I mean, a lot of primary things, preliminary things to be carried out. So it will require some, some time. But at this stage, definitely, we are not looking at refinery as an opportunity right now. But there is a demand, there is a requirement. Ranjan, where on the African continent are you seeing the greatest opportunities for Indian oil Mauritius? Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We would definitely, we our presence here in Mauritius, we would like to, this is the best opportunity that we have. And uh, from here, we would like to definitely go forward, definitely like to seize this opportunity.